Hi, this is Peter Borden from Los Angeles, California. I'm going to demonstrate with you today the use of the 2.6 FiberTac anchor using two anchors for a simple rotator cuff repair. This is a left shoulder and we have a small laterally based tear. We are going to plan to put one anchor here and one anchor here right on the edge of the greater tuberosity here. We are going to repair that in a single row fashion for this case. We're utilizing the Panascope. We've got this ultra wide Panascope view currently of the greater tuberosity and the small cuff tear. You can see the extent of the cuff tear, but you can see the entire greater tuberosity from front to back in this one view. I can show you with a press of a button that we can cycle through a 70 degree view so we can look at it from the side standpoint. I can also cycle away from that and do a standard 30 degree view as well. But notice how when we go to the pano view, we just get a much more global view of the greater tuberosity. Here we've added an ASL portal for suture management. I would like to be able to put both anchors, one anchor here and one anchor here. We're gonna go ahead and retrieve our working sutures one at a time out our lateral portal and then we'll take the scorpion. I'm gonna add the working stitch to the side loader as we come in. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a feel and see how much cuff tissue I want to grab and I wanna pull and reduce. I'm gonna go into the anterior extent of the tear. That looks good. I'm gonna do one there and let's go ahead and pull that. So, we got the first pass done. I'm going to move that out of our working portal for suture management. So now we'll retrieve our blue white working stitch. We will add the second working stitch to the scorpion. We're going to hold our suture and do our second pass, making sure we stay on the correct side of all the sutures. And we're going to come in and we're going to make an analogous pass. And I'm going to take all these and for suture management purposes, and we're gonna take everything out of our ASL portal. There's our passes. So now we're localizing our posterior anchor placement here. So I wanna be right off the edge, kind of similar to my other anchor. and then I'll check the anchor again and make sure I can lift the arm up and I can. So we placed our anchor. We're gonna retrieve the black and blue working suture. Now we're gonna load a scorpion passer. We will take a look at our spread. So I don't wanna hit the other suture from the first anchor. So I'm going to keep an eye on everything. I'm gonna go in, go above it, look and see where my other pass was. There's my other pass. I'm gonna go just adjacent to that. So we're going to come in and we're going to go ahead and take our second pass. We will fire it, retrieve it. So we got two sutures there. We're ready to convert. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to retrieve this guy. We have the loop suture for conversion of the anchor. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and take this, put it through the loop, and we're, we'll make sure that it's where the purple mark is. That's the purple mark. Both sutures are through the shuttle loop, and I've got this ready to go. So I will go ahead and convert this. We will utilize the shuttle suture in order to put a little tension on the loop on the working repair sutures so that we have a little counter tension and this little counter tension that we're doing on here, it just helps us keep this from getting all twisted up. And as I bring it in, look how nice and straight it kept my repair sutures on that tissue. And now that I've got this scenario here, I could remove this suture that was helping me maintain the orientation of the sutures. And now we're going to take both of these sutures and we will go ahead and seal that down to bone. We will go ahead and use the mega loader to load our repair sutures in the cutter. And we'll come in and we'll go down to the anchor. Give another little gentle tug. Now we'll do the same thing with the other sutures. So that's perfect. We will cut this suture and get out of here. We've got this single row, lateral row repair of the rotator cuff. We've got great fixation of the cuff tissue to the greater tuberosity.